in India, transportation by trains in inter and intra cities is always affordable and desired choice among the available transport system. Indian Railways Museum, established in 1977, chronicles the rich heritage and love for railway, which has been a preferred mode of transport by commuters. During passage of time, the need is felt to upgrade transport facilities as population and urban sprawling increased exponentially since independence. With rise in technology and infrastructure, Delhi Metro Rail Corporation started their operation in 2002 with vision, commuting experience with Delhi Metro to be customer's delight. And presently, with completion of Phase 3, DMRC network consists of about 391 kilometers with 286 stations. The network has now crossed the boundaries to satellite cities and reached Noida and Ghaziabad in Uttar Pradesh, Gurugram, Faridabad, Bahadurgarh and Ballabgarh in Haryana. In order to provide pre-eminent journey, Delhi Metro focused on riding quality through their infrastructure in safety, seating comfort, temperature, ventilation and air conditioning, lighting, last but not the least to control over vibrations. Human body is sensitive to vibrations in different frequency ranges and it becomes prevailing factor while analyzing commuting experience. After extensive study, it is found that ride comfort count as one of the criteria for evaluating the dynamic behavior of vehicles. It is used to describe the degree of passenger comfort from perspective of mechanical vibrations, taking into account the psychological characteristics of human body to which it is subjected to. And ride index concept arose which is widely known as Perling's Ride Index that provides numerical values for various degrees of riding comfort as Ride Index. The Ride Index is further related to track irregularities like bouncing, nosing, lurching, pitching, shuttling and rolling. The bouncing is being phased due to unevenness in track cross level. Lurching is due to variation gauge and alignment and rolling is due to presence of twist in rails. Delhi Metro Rail Corporation is using latest technology to measure riding quality in its operational hours by mobile handy instrument known as Oscillation Monitoring System 2000. How do we do it? Components of OMS are Accelerometer Termination Box Laptop Before start the OMS recording of track or say start of new run, it is compulsory to calibrate the system first. For doing this, we place the laptop and termination box at the appropriate places in the coach so that it seats firmly. Also, place accelerometer on the floor of the coach, approximately near to bogey pivot point. Calibration is done by providing 0G and 1G value for leveled and vertical position respectively and complete the calibration procedure. After calibration, OMS is ready for recording oscillations in both taco and non-taco mode by providing speed rolling stock, section, direction as per changes, threshold values of peaks and rest is done by OMS itself. After recording, the data being saved in laptop with following interface. To assess the track quality, vertical and lateral acceleration peaks exceeding the value of 0.15G are to be considered. Track quality is based on average number of peaks per kilometers and it is very good if peaks are less than 1. Good if peaks between 1 to 2. Average if it is greater than 3. Also, it is to be noted 
that peak exceeding 0.3G and 0.35G in any section required immediate attention. Thank you. You were watching a video by Delhi Metro Rail Academy.